Christy Titus here, and I am with Pat Mywis with Warren Industries, and inevitably I get stuck in the woods. I'm in inclement conditions, and it's, you know, wild. It's wild places. And you're going to walk me through how to set up my winch and some other safety things you need to look at? Absolutely. We're going to quickly go over the very first thing you do when you get your winch on there. We're going to talk about some safety stuff before you even get it out in the field to make sure we're, we're, we're safe and, and properly using the equipment. We've got it set up right now. We've got our winch dampener on the cable itself, and okay. that's in the event that it breaks. Okay. Um, the cable will drop to the hand. We've got our gloves on. Um, and we've got the, the vehicle back in there. We're not in a really winching sit situation here, so um, we're going to be close to the winch to get it on tight with the weight of the vehicle. I have my truck hooked to your truck and we have full tension on this cable, correct? We have yep, with enough tension that we're not it's, slop it's not sloppy so okay. we can kind of manage it really well. So what we'll do is we'll have you jump into the vehicle, okay. fire it up, and then put it into neutral, and then we'll winch to, the, to my truck with the weight of your truck um, and, and it's kind of a simulation, put it on tight. Okay. Um, and that way when you get into a situation when you're out in the field, um, the, weight of the, the weight of the cable is from the vehicle and you're in safe wishes. Ready? I need neutral. Yep, okay, here, here we go. This is the winch dampener, and we use this to put uh, tension on the rope. And really, you can use anything, a coat, some type of a tree saver, anything that just holds the weight down on. So in case the inevitable that it does break, it drops right to the ground. So we have the winch now spooled under the weight of the vehicle. So I'm ready for infield conditions, correct? Absolutely. So to close this gap between Process. Basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to power it out, let the tension off, okay. go unhook it, and then I'm going to spool it on by hand the rest of the way. Okay. Okay. And you'll notice right here too, um, on the way the, the hook is hooked up, um, if this was to, something was to happen and this was to come off, if this was on top, basically in the event of like this, if that was to, something was to happen here, it's going to fly up. Okay. So by hooking it up underneath, you're, 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 you're attaching it a lot safer. So basically now we're just gonna wind the cable in. We've got our gloves on for safety. Um, and if the, and something develops some burrs on here, we're not cutting up our hands, um, which is a big thing here out in the field. Sometimes you can get it on really nice and other times it's, but it's usually the first 10 to 15 feet. It doesn't really matter. So now we're getting down here close and we have this, this little thing right here. Um, this is called the hook strap. Um, and it's really a safety thing. If you hold it here, you have the opportunity or a chance of getting your fingers caught into the, the fair lead, um, which is that roller fair lead right there. So we grab this and we just go in the rest of the way. All right, okay. so now my winch is all set up and ready for us to go get stuck. Go play, absolutely. 